clutch pops. Practice getting your front wheel off the ground using your clutch and throttle. The idea is to use as little throttle as possible for the most amount of control. You're looking for little to no wheel spin and a low RPM. This is not what you're looking for. There's too much wheel spin going on and the RPMs are too high. Wheel placement. This next one goes hand in hand with your clutch pops. Work on your precise wheel placement by picking a log and trying to place your front wheel two thirds of the way up the log. This skill will help you learn more advanced techniques and will be extremely handy out on the trails. Try this on different size logs. The smaller the log, the more difficult this is. Static balance. Practicing static balance will directly affect your riding out on the trails, I can promise you that. You will see the results very quickly and it will translate into better technical riding. You'll also start to save a lot of energy if you can keep it together and stay on the pegs through the tough terrain. I practice this one almost every time I'm out on the bike. Slow, full lock figure eights. Practicing your figure eights is a great way to work on balance, clutch control, throttle control and braking. The slower and tighter you can do these figure eights, the better. Start with a loose figure eight that you're comfortable doing, then tighten it up until you start to struggle. Then work from there to eventually get your full lock figure eight. Full lock means your bars are fully turned and you're on the stoppers in both directions. Balance beam. The balance beam drill is a fun and challenging way to build better balance. You can use logs, 2x6s, or even 2x4s. I like to start out by just riding across. Then, you can up the difficulty by slowing it down or by stopping halfway through and then continuing on. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, let me know what you think in the comments below and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.